guess I'm hard to ignore Cause my life's recording Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen, people of the world, subscribe to 6 in today could actually with a Black Ops 2 uh, weapon comparison video. Um, this is good. This is going to be the opening of my weapon comparison series, which I'm going to do every Saturday. Um, I've been doing it for about a couple years now, so uh, hopefully you guys, um, you know, enjoy this and uh, let's get into this. Okay, so uh, basically on on screen you can see all of the assault rifles from the MTAR to the AN94, and uh, this is effectively just every single assault rifle and their damage. Um, I didn't want to show you all the rest of the stats because I know some of you guys wouldn't really understand it, so I have to explain it to you guys more in depth. So uh, you know you can look at the um, chart below if you understand what raids and drop times and stuff like that are. Um, but I just want to give you the plain damages and show you which weapons are stronger and which weapons are probably going to be the more dominant weapon in the game. So let's get into this. Alright, so firstly, kicking off with the MTAR. Now, the MTAR is the first weapon you unlock, and uh, it is pretty goddamn good, I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, the, the, the rounds per minute, 720 fairly decent um, for this game anyway and um, it has 40 damage per bullet so it'll be a three shot kill anywhere up close now at long range stuff kind of <laughs> it's, it kind of changes um, because it has 24 um, damage it will be a five shot kill so you'll be finding yourself getting a five shot kill <clears throat> At long range most of the time with the MTAR. Now with um, that compensation, you'll probably be thinking, you know, I, I seem to be getting a lot, you know, putting a lot more bullets into these guys and uh, not getting the kill. Now that is all that compensation, guys. I can't affect that. I can't change that. Um, and these weapon stats are 100% and, uh, you know, at this current moment in time, it might not be five shots in your, in your, in your hands, but you know, usually it would be five shots. So, uh, up, up close, three <laughs> three shots to kill with 720 rounds per minute. That's fairly strong. Um, it's one of those weapons which, uh, you know, it's not fantastic, but it has, you know, moderate recoil, and it has fairly high damage. So, um, it's one of those weapons that you might, you know, want to keep your eye open for, and if you've already overlooked it, try using it, because it's pretty goddamn good. So, uh, let's, get into, let's get into the top 95, or top 25, sorry. Okay, so Type 25, um, another decent um, assault rifle. Now, this is slightly different. So, uh, ignoring the mag and the extended clip mag, um, let's go into the damage. Um, so, as we can see, it has 33 um, damage per bullet. Now, this will mean it's going to be a four-shot kill, um, if you can do the math. And uh, that's, you know, sort of a shame, because it would have had the, almost the identical um, damage of an uh, for mass in you know, Black Ops 1, which, you know, was insane. The weapon was very strong, and uh, this the stats obviously prove that. And, um, you know, the rounds per minute are, you know, the highest in the class at 900. This is the only weapon with that sort of stat, because, um, you know, the weapon, it has low damage, high, high fire rate, and, um, you know, you see a lot of people using it, getting lots of success with it, probably because, again, that conversation, it works a lot better in that kind of, um, you know, when, when, when you're throwing loads of bullets at someone, you know, some of them are going to hit. So you're probably going to get a lot more success with this weapon um, than, you know, say the MTAR, which shoots a, lo a little bit slower, but has higher damage. So, uh, yeah. All right, so the SWAT, you know, three-round burst weapon, um, something that I haven't really been using all that much um, because it's a three round burst weapon it does have one less bullet um, because it's multiple three because uh, com in comparison to the type 25 um, but the damage you know it's fairly decent now the damage isn't fantastic um, it's actually got the same damage as the MTAR and a slower fire rate which you know if you you know consider the accuracy it's not necessarily a terrible thing but it's not fantastic you know you I I always like to compare my weapons to other weapons. I mean that's how I roll. And um, in comparison to, you know, weapons in previous Call of Duties, this is fairly standard. Um, I think they've changed around the way that rounds per minute actually work on this grid because before the um, M16 had 900 rounds per minute, which was you know probably the same as what the SWAT has, um, which make it makes it pretty much an M16. I mean it it has three bullets to kill. Fairly, you know, fairly decent, but it's a no time 95, and, and you know, when when you had guns like time uh, type 95, it's pretty goddamn amazing, um, because it was a two shot kill, and um, yeah. All right, so the foul, um, the foul I haven't actually used much of, but uh, looking at the stats, it actually is a two shot kill, which is pretty goddamn good. Again, um, it has, you know. <laughs> I hate when it shows you um, 515 rounds per minute because that's the maximum. Like if you have a super trigger finger, that's the maximum you can shoot at. Now, 
I don't think that's necessarily uh, true because, say, somebody, you know, isn't, hasn't got really the fastest trigger finger in the world. They might shoot at around 300. So that's, you know, uh, not necessarily um, a figure that, that's 100%. But um, in terms of the damage, the damage is brilliant. It's two hit kill, like I just said. Um, at long range, actually, it is um, a fairly strong weapon. Now, I want to go back to the SWAT. I missed out one crucial bit of information about the SWAT. Um, the SWAT actually has a lot more damage at med uh, medium to long range than any other assault rifle um, in, bar the, the, the FAL and the SMR. Now this makes it, I think, if I do my math right, a four shot kill in comparison to the MTAR and the Type 25, which uh, both um, do, you know, have what, four, five, no, no, more, I think five, yeah, five, five hits to kill or six hits to kill, um, which, you know, is, again, kind of pushing it a little bit, um, but, you know, what are you gonna do? It's you know uh, fully automatic assault rifles. It's something that you uh, the, the my main advantage you do get is the fact that you can spray and um, with the burst weapons they have to balance it in the way that that if you you know are trying to kill someone it almost acts like you know an, an, a semi auto but it has higher damage if you know what I mean. Like I'm trying to uh, explain balance in here, guys and. Um, yeah, that's what they're trying to do. So, um, the file actually is a three-shot kill at medium to long range. No big surprise. That's, you know, fairly um, normal for the weapons of, uh, you know, semi or semi uh, can't even say it, semi or my class. And, uh, yeah, so let's move into the next weapon. All right, so the M27. Now, this is probably arguably one of the better weapons in the game. However, it has fairly low damage. Um, this is something that's... Uh, really has surprised me and um, yeah so let's get into this all right so if you cannot actually um, compare if you if you can compare it to any other weapon and, it, and you just saw 720 rounds per minute you'd almost immediately expect it to have the exact same damage as the MTA um, for some reason I seem to think this is slightly wrong and off key but by the looks of things it kind of does add up because this weapon is incredibly accurate um, this weapon you know it's almost like the ACR, but it has a lot less damage. It's actually a four-shot kill, guys. And um, in comparison to the Type 25, it has a lot slower fire rate, and you'll be losing a lot of gunfights. You'll be losing a ton. And um, it, it kind of makes you think, you know, is, is the M27 the best gun in the game or the worst? Because it has these this amazing accuracy, but at the same time, it has this, you know, appalling damage. And um, I think it's the weakest weapon in, in this category. So uh, three-shot kill... Um, up close and uh, about a five shot kill um wait four shot kill um up close or sorry about that and um about what a th i want to say what a four five four five yeah five shot kill um yeah long range and it has a slow fire rate so you know long range it's not fantastic so i think that um those damages aren't fantastically um correct so uh if they're not please don't go ahead and tell me uh, have a go at me for it so uh let's go into the sky h Alright, so this guy, hey, just can't, this weapon sort of disappointed me in terms of the stats. Um, you know, it has a slow fire rate, as you'd probably expect for the Sky H, similar to uh, Model Fair 2. Um, has high damage, you know, still a free shot kill, can hold its own up close in a way, but uh, compared to the MTAR, again, the MTAR beats it. Um, the MTAR is extremely strong, and um, it's a very, very good weapon up close. Now, uh, medium to long range, uh, this weapon actually has, I think, four shots to kill, which again makes this weapon kind of weak in terms of the uh, rounds per minute, because 600 rounds per minute is the slowest for a fully on my weapon in the game, I think. Um, and uh, the Scar H... It's not very good. It really isn't. Um, if I was going to talk about the recoil, the recoil is kind of all over the place as well. I mean, the only thing I've got to say good about it is firstly the nostalgia feeling, and uh, the second thing I quite like is the sight. So um, yeah, so uh, let's move into the SMR. Okay, so the SMR very similar to the FAL. Um, regardless of the numbers, it's still a two-shot kill and uh, a three-shot kill at long distance. And again, it has the same fire rate. Um, well, it actually has a slower fire rate by the looks of things. So um, overall, it looks like the SMR is a slightly better weapon than the FAL. Uh, slight, uh, the FAL is a slightly better weapon than the SMR. Sorry about that. And um, in terms of the damage, yeah, that seems about right because it actually has less bullets in the clip. And um, yeah. All right. So for the M8A1, the four-round burst weapon, 
Um, the stats are fairly good, I'm not going to lie. Um, so it is, a, uh, I think, a three-shot kill uh, by the looks of things, and it has a fairly fast fire rate, actually. Um, it's a four-round burst, so this gun is going to be a monster. And, um, you know, once you get that fully automatic um, attachment on it, you might be going ham every game, you never know. So uh, in terms of the, uh, the, the minimum damage at, at long range, not fantastic for a burst weapon, not necessarily what you'd expect um, for a burst weapon. However, being as the damage up close and the you know the fire rate is fairly quick, I don't really uh, expect too much different because it's, it would it would be a, a complete beast of a weapon if it was uh, you know <clears throat> the same as the SWAT. So uh, the M A M A A one, you know, fairly fairly good weapon. Um, in terms of the damage stats, you know, phenomenal for a uh, full round burst weapon. Alright, so the AN-94, very similar to the SCAR-H, um, I feel like I'm going on and on here, so I'll make this one quick and clean. Um, so the SCAR-H, you know, and the AN-94 have the same damage, so we uh, 3 shot kill, um, 4 shot kill at long range, and 600 rounds per minute, so it'll be fairly weak. So uh, if you did enjoy this video and you got any of this information and, and you you know thought it was any uh, any of use to you, um, please click like, that really helps me out. Um, I, I find it difficult to make commentaries because I haven't done them in a while. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, until next time, guys, see you guys and bye. Um, if I've been going on and on, I'm sorry. Um, but I just wanted to get this information out to you guys because I feel like um, I've seen guys talking about these stats and not really going into detail and comparing them to each other. So if I was going to put these weapons in terms of the stats um, above each other and, and kind of order them, <clears throat> I put the M Tower at top actually. Um, main reason is that it has a high damage and high fire rate. Um, again, I think the M twenty seven does have a three shot kill. Um, I you know it, it wouldn't really surprise me if it did. I mean these stats seem fairly ninety nine percent. I mean if uh, if it has got. Um, a higher damage, I think I might put the uh, the M27 at the top, but uh, these current stats, I will put the M tower at the top, it does have a slightly slower fire rate, even though I did just say it had a faster fire rate, but uh, it's kind of mediocre, because it's faster than the SCAR, uh, Scar H, um, but slower than the Type 25, so it's kind of in between, and um, it's a fairly good weapon, I mean, the recoil is not too bad, if you haven't used it, and if you've already overlooked it, because it's the first weapon you unlock, you know, go and use it, because it's, you know, it surely won't disappoint you, and um, in terms of the worst weapon, I'm going to have to put the Scar H there at this current moment in time, I haven't used the AN-94 yet, but if that's any worse, maybe, um, but you never know, so uh, if you did enjoy the video, please, guys, you know, like I said, please click like, that really, really helps this video uh, get seen, and, and hopefully get my, my ass get seen as well, so uh, see you guys, bye.